Hi and welcome back to yet another new video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what is modern web development and five very simple steps you can start learning web development right from now. Coming up. All right, let's get into the video. Before we actually move into those five steps on how you can start learning modern web development, let us first understand what is web development. It is very simple. Okay, web development means nothing more than creation of the website. We all visit websites, right? How do the website looks? Okay, a website had to have different uh, web pages. How are they interconnected with each other? You might see some forms over there. There are even some videos embedded. There are also some images. There's some paragraph. There are some buttons. There are many, many things on a website, right? So if you want to develop such kind of project, you would call it a web development project. But from a very recent time, uh, the way of developing these websites has really changed because now people just don't want to develop websites, they want to develop the web apps. Okay, these web apps are a lot more, uh, you know, advanced, they have a lot more functionalities. Say, suppose a website that can give you a notification on your phone or a website that when you open in your phone browser, it may ask you to use your mobile phone fingerprint to log in. So that's not just a simple website. Those are called modern websites or you can say uh, web applications. So today we are going to learn about on how you can get started with it. So the very first step, if you're starting it, right? if you need from very, very scratch, if you're a beginner watching this video, the first step that you need to learn, okay, the first step that you need to go through is to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Yes, you heard that right. Those are the first three simple, simple uh, terms that you need to go through it and understand what it is. Just to give a brief, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, right? Which actually tells uh, what are the content that you have on your web page, okay? The website that you visit, say suppose you have a paragraph, or say suppose you have an image, you have a video. All those things are added on to using HTML. Then comes the CSS. The CSS actually takes care on how it looks. If you have a paragraph, okay, what is the uh, size of the paragraph, whether it is bold or not, whether it should be left aligned or right aligned. If you have an image, how big the image is, what is the resolution, how you want it to be displayed. So all the style or the uh, look of a, a website is managed by CSS. Then come the JavaScript. So JavaScript actually manages the behavior on your website. Say suppose you have a button, okay. What happens when you click that button? So it is the JavaScript that is going to handle those behaviors. So uh, to nutshell, HTML is used for adding the content, CSS, CSS for styling, and the JavaScript is for your behavior. And just to sum up this entire video, it's not the end. Okay, it's not the end, but if you want to sum up this entire video into just one word, okay, if I, you, you can just, if you want to go after this video, just uh, after I speak this word, you can just uh, leave. But if you want to sum up this entire video, okay, uh, I would give it as the term JavaScript. Yes, JavaScript is something that you should be focusing if you want to learn modern web development. So when it is first step of HTML, CSS and JavaScript, once you learn that, okay, don't give it more than uh, 10 or 15 days. You should then move into step two, that is learn more JavaScript. You should be giving time yourself to learn a little more advanced JavaScript, like uh, learn libraries like jQuery, okay? So JavaScript is very important and uh, something that you need to make sure that uh, while you're learning, keep in mind that JavaScript runs on your browser, okay? it does not run on your server. So uh, it means if you are a beginner, just make sure that a bra uh, JavaScript would run on your phone if you click a button, okay? So JavaScript is something that is running on your phone. It is not running on the website provider or the actual server. So JavaScript would 
work in your laptop or in a browser or in your phone it is usually meant for the client side we call it client side the one who is accessing the website okay so second step would be learning javascript a little more advanced maybe with having a look at jquery also the third step would be learning node.js so node.js is actually an open source uh, cross-platform development javascript library yes you had a pride it is once again a javascript library just now i told you javascript runs on the client side it runs on the browser it runs on the phone it runs on the laptop but what if you want to run javascript on the server too wouldn't that be easy if the javascript we can run also on the phone right and we can run also on the server the uh, the connection and the reliability the speed would increase if they're both the languages same at the client side and at the server side so node.js helps you write uh, the javascript code both on the client side and the server side this is where the modern web development comes into play because now you have much more uh, possibilities and capabilities to do more when you have same language running on both client and server side so the third step was node.js now comes the fourth step the fourth step uh, may, be, may depend upon your location if you're watching from uh, Asia then uh, you might want to learn angular JS and if you're watching from Europe or United States then you might want to learn react so this, so this angular and react are actually your front-end web development uh, you can say framework okay so they have all so it is actually a collection okay uh, an angular it is again based on JavaScript you need to make sure that Angular is once again based on JavaScript. You can develop an end-to-end -end entire application. Okay, an end-to-end -end entire application. You just need to know uh, Node.js and some basics of JavaScript to get into Angular. That would and Angular gives you a lot more uh, third-party libraries to give you the one that I talked about earlier. That was push notification or maybe your uh, fingerprint sensor and then many more right so your fourth step would be learning your angular js or might be the react now the fifth and the most important step is creating a website or a web app i would more specifically say a web app right creating a web app that is not connected to the database is totally useless so I believe if the guys who know a bit about web development, they might feel like, okay, I'll learn PHP, then I would learn MySQL or Oracle, and then all things are good for me. But if you're trying to make a modern web development app projects, right, you would like to go a little different from the league. And this time it's not your MySQL server, right? This time it's your Firebase, okay? So Firebase is a cloud, based uh, database okay it does not have a table based approach it has a tree based approach which is much more reliable and gives you much faster result than table based uh, uh, databases so your fifth step is to learn the firebase now just to let you know firebase and angular they're both managed by google right and angular is also managed by the open community by individuals and the organization community on their forums and all that was your five steps. The first one, learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript. The second one is to learn JavaScript advance, which may include jQuery also. The third one was to learn your uh, Node.js. The fourth one was to learn Angular or React. And the fifth one was to learn the uh, Firebase. Now, here's before you go, before you go, there's one more extra bonus step that I think would really favor you. You would often want to develop uh, the responsive websites. I mean, a website that look exactly same on your desktop and on your phone so that you, when you visit the website on your phone, you need not zoom it. Okay, for that, you need to just visit a website that's called getbootstrap.com. Okay, I'll just give links over here, somewhere over here. Okay, so using that, they have some codes over there. It's very simple. You just copy and paste it change it, manipulate it according to your uh, requirements and then you can actually develop an entire responsive based uh, website. So make sure uh, 
while you're learning all these five steps, you also hit that uh, website. I hope you'd like this video, right? I have tried to sum up everything about what modern web development uh, covers. Just follow these five steps. I'm sure you will succeed to make a new modern web development based project other than the guys who are making on PHP and might be Django, right? Thank you so much for watching. I upload videos on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, right? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>